Hello friends, uh, in this video we will be talking about the role of clamp loader protein and as well as the role of primase protein during the replication and we all know that we have seen in couple of times that this prime this clamp loader protein is a very important protein which is helping to increase the processivity of DNA polymerase C during the uh, DNA replication stages now what happens during the replication stages oh let me go back okay now what happens in replication that uh, the DNA polymerase 3 core enzyme uh, is not having a higher processivity so it cannot hold on to the DNA for a long time so what we are having we end up with making this uh, fork or replication fork and this replication fork it there is a polymerase or core polymerase enzyme for example so Okay, now this polymerase or cold polymerase enzyme will bind to uh, one of these strands and it can synthesize the nucleotide sequences on the other hand. Now it cannot synthesize a longer amount of DNA for, for a long time or uh, num many number of nucleotide sequences for a long time. It will dissociate uh, from this DNA only after synthesizing fewer nucleotide sequences. So that's why we need to ensure that this polymerase enzyme or the activity of the polymerase enzyme can ho go on to for a long time uh, utilizing, uh, uh, or utilizing those nucleotide sequences and that can only be possible if we give them uh, another mechanism and this mechanism is provided by this clamp proteins now the beta clamps are look like just like clamps so two subunits are there one is uh, in this direction another one is will look like uh, in opposite thing like this so okay so they will look like this clamp now the after loading this clamp onto the DNA strand uh, the clamp is ligated in all this uh, region of clamp is ligated and the core enzyme of uh, polymerase uh, 3 will attach to the clamp and right after the attachment uh, with this clamp now this polymerase enzyme can synthesize and uh, add uh, the nucleotide sequences for a long time so the processivity will increase now the importance of clamp loader protein as well as the clamp proteins we know are very very uh, significant because if you look at a different species or different type of organisms like E. coli then human PCNA ring human, in case of humans there is, there is, this is called the PCNA ring in case of E. coli and in case of phages also there are uh, the presence of this uh, clamp loader uh, not clamp loader clamp uh, here this is the clamp proteins now these clamp proteins are structurally almost similar in all these cases so in this case this is also a uh, telling us the evolutionary origin for this okay so common ancestor from that we are having branching and all these things it is showing us that because you can see the structure is almost similar uh, and uh, in case of E. coli there are two different types of subunits and three of each subunit is making it and in case of human this is three different type of subunit two of them are making it in case of phage uh, again in case it, they, this is three different type of subunit two of each uh, are making this beta clamp uh, now uh, so ultimately six subunits are interacting together to make this clamp and this clamp symmetry is almost looks similar in all these cases and all these cases you can see there is a loop structure in outside region and also the central canal through where uh, the, the DNA strand will pass okay so this is extremely conserved region in all these cases so that that is a, a important thing uh, I must tell you now uh, the second important thing is uh, about the primase now we all know the effectivity of primase that the primase enzyme initiates uh, the synthesis of pure stretch of RNA nucleotide sequences which is called RNA primer now this primer is very important because this primer is providing the 3 prime hydroxyl group uh, to this polymerase enzyme to synthesize further round of nucleotides or to add further rounds of nucleotide now uh, except for this DNA primer formation DNA polymers may not be able to synthesize or may not be able to polymerize the nucleotide strand or the DNA strand so that's why it is really really important to have that primer or to have that 3 prime hydroxyl group RNA primer can synthesize uh, nucleotide sequences from scratch that means RNA primer do not need a 3 prime hydroxyl it can synthesize it uh, from the beginning from the scratch that's why RNA polymerase uh, uh, synthesize it de novo or from the scratch synthesis but in case of DNA polymerase it must need the stretch of a 3 prime hydroxyl group for the activity of fu uh, further addition of nucleotide sequences and then they, they can add nucleotide sequences only after the 3 prime hydroxyl so primer is establishing this so it's a very important job of primer
but now uh, uh, with the help of new research we can also know the primer or, or as a result of this priming what we end up with we end up with short stretch of DNA which is the DNA region and another uh, stretch of portion which is RNA sequence now this DNA RNA hybrid uh, we can, as we are looking at so this is uh, this green color is uh, for, for the DNA and red uh, this orange color is the RNA so this DNA RNA hybrid we are looking at is very very important why DNA RNA hybrid is important for loading of these prime uh, beta clamp proteins that's another important observations nowadays it's a, it's a pretty new observation now as you can see this is and these are the protein complexes so clamp loader proteins and the beta clamp they can only load the beta clamp onto the DNA RNA hybrids most of the time the DNA RNA hybrids now it makes sense that this primer and uh, the beta clamp loader proteins have to interact with each other to, to get uh, this beta clamp onto that that's why it's really really important step but you can see in, in this case there are uh, different regions of this protein of RFC now it is interacting with the DNA RNA hybrid 3 prime of this uh, will interact to the D subunit and 5 prime of it will be interacted with this beta clamp so that's why the clamp loading facility also uh, recognizes uh, the specific site for the loading of the clamp and that is established uh, only when the DNA RNA hybrid presence so not only primer is helping uh, to establish or to, to start the synthesis uh, via the po DNA polymerase but also it is providing the room to this PCNA ring and RFC uh, to, to load this clamp onto this DNA and start uh, the polymerase synthesis okay or the polymerization okay so that's uh, another important thing I must tell and I hope it will help you thank you